Welcome back to Joseph Rossback Photography Digital Workflow Training. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about manually blending two different exposures of the exact same scene in Photoshop to create a high dynamic range image. Now, when I say high dynamic range image, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, just do that as an HDR with Photomatics. And that's fine if that's what you want to do and that's easier for you, but I don't recommend it, especially for landscape shots. Um, a lot of the HDR images tend to have a very grungy, unnatural look and feel to them, um, which I don't like for my landscape work, so I prefer to do it manually in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's really, really, really easy. Um, what you need to do is you need to start off with usually two images. One exposed for the darker part of the scene, which is down here inside the gorge, and then one exposed for the brighter part of the scene, which is right up here in, on the sky. And the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have my layers box open. There it is. Good. And I'm going to go to my image for my sky and go select all. That puts a series of marching ants all the way around the perimeter of the shot. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy it. So go to edit, copy. And I'm going to shrink this down, open this up big, and go edit, paste. So I'm just pasting the darker shot on top of the lighter shot. All right, so there we go, looking good. I'm going to channels now, grab my blue channel, drag it down into the selection box. It's going to put some marching ants in the image. Make sure I click back on RGB to select all the channels before I go back into layers and add a mask. And you can see already this has started to darken the sky, but still keep a lot of detail down here in the water. So we have a pretty good blend, but we can kind of work on this a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my paintbrush, make sure it's filled with white, and I'm just going to paint over the sky to really bring out the drama of that first shot. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch the brush to black to reveal as much detail down here in the water and underneath in the darker areas. Okay? And then we'll look at the before and after. Looking good. I'll make one last adjustment on it. Go to Image Adjustment Levels and I'll drag this up to really bring out a little more drama in the sky. I might want to darken these mid-tone areas a little bit. So I can always switch this. Change the opacity of the brush to something low like maybe 40%. And then just go back in and just darken a few areas inside the shot, okay? And I'll bring it back up again. And just keep doing that until I get the blend that I'm looking for. That looks pretty good. Once you're happy with the results, just go ahead and flatten the image. And if we take a look at this up close with the navigator, you can see that everything looks very natural in the image. We didn't introduce any of that grunge or noise or detail, so you have a really, really beautiful image that has detail on highlights, midtones, and shadows that is going to look very natural to the viewer and can be enlarged and printed very, very big. And if we go ahead and just bring this back out, look at the histogram, you can see that we have great information all the way around and we're not clipping highlights or clipping shadows. And now we can simply go in and make a few of our adjustment layers that we went over in previous videos. And we'll just go ahead and drag this down to increase drama on both ends of the print. Oh, we can't do too much on that end because it's going to start clipping highlights. There we go. And I, at this point, would probably call this a finished photograph. The only other thing I might do to it is come in and do a selective color adjustment and bring out a little more drama in some of those reds. And maybe affect some of the yellows in the shot. Give me a before and an after. Hit OK. I'd like to see a little more detail down here in the water. So I'll do a quick curves adjustment. And I'll just go ahead and click right here. Hold down Control to put a spot on the, or in the uh, curve. And I'll just move this up until I bring a little bit more detail out of the water. Hit OK. I'm going to fill this mask with black by going control backspace and then just go in here and paint that adjustment back in. Let me move this up to about 100%. So I bring out all the detail down here in this 
darker region of the photograph. So it's not as dark down there. It tends to suck the eye right into that area. All right? And I may also want to darken these rocks in the middle ground just a touch. So I'll do another curves adjustment for that. Once again, just click on the rocks, hold control, and then just drag these down just a little bit. Hit OK. Control backspace once again. And then just come into this area and darken up those rocks and the sky just a little bit. And now you can see the before and after after making a few layers adjustments. Little, but pretty big deal. And once we're done, we'll go ahead and save this with layers intact, and we'll call that a finished photograph. Thanks for uh, tuning in to this episode of Joseph Rossback Photography, and hope to see you guys again on a, a future workshop or a tour.